guiding guiding herself through this what could have been a morass uh, in terms of politics and the rest of it and never ta- never stepping outside a whole host of tributes there this morning on the show from Royal Correspondent Rupert Bell, Rupert who covers golf for us here at Talk Sport, amongst uh, many other sports. He's brilliant. Brilliant. He's brilliant. Boxing as well. Great, great uh, sports commentator. From uh, the FA, uh, former figure Mark Palios, yep. of course, now at Tranmere Rovers. From our own Spencer Oliver. From the chair of the DCMS, Julian Knight, MP. A special tribute from the wife of 1966 England World Cup winner George Cohen, Daphne Cohen, and from the former chairman of the FA, Greg Dine. It's Jim White and it's Simon Jordan. Simon, last night our colleague Trevor Sinclair put out a tweet which caused huge offence to many all around the country. His view is not endorsed by Talk Sport. Simon, you responded to his tweet last yeah. night. What would you like to say this morning? Um, what I'd like to say is when I saw... Tre- we both know Trevor very well. Uh, and I'm not the sort of person that, that feels the need to be uh, unnecessarily patronising someone or defending the indefensible. Uh, and my first reaction to Trevor's treat, uh, tweet was was of great disappointment. Um, you have a view. I think it's a poor view. Um I think it's a misguided view. I think it's a view not steeped in any great fact. Because if you're going to argue that racism was uh, outlawed in the 60s, then you would know that society has treated it with great um, with great value. But to put a tweet out with that content at that time was, to my mind, deeply inappropriate. And people are allowed to have their views And there are people that will hold that view. And there are people that will hold the view that they didn't attach any great value to the monarchy. And they're entitled to that view. And I find myself in a very conflicted position because I abhor the view, but I know the man. So I know Trevor as a a person. We've had very robust arguments and debates specifically and explicitly on this subject. And all of those arguments have ended with an agreement to disagree. And so for Trevor to portray a vantage point, and he will have come from a background, I'm not an apologist for Trevor Sinclair, he will have come from a background in his life where he would have been faced with things like no blacks, no dogs, no Irish, painted on walls and so on and so forth. But to put a tweet up like that at a time when a unique moment has happened in the country disappointed me greatly and is not where... Trevor Sinclair should want to be. He's a better man than that. And there will be a lot of people. There will be a cancel culture now, and I've seen it. I've seen it piling in on my social. I I responded to Trevor with a tweet, um, and I kind of regretted it to some extent because I felt that I should have perhaps texted him direct rather than respond to a tweet because, and I didn't quote tweet it because it's not then about me replying to Trevor. It was a, a reaction for me to say, oh, no, Trevor, this is not an appropriate thought. It's not right for the start. And it's certainly not for the timing of the... If you want to have this view, there'll be a time for people to have different views about the monarchy, about our queen. This was never the time. And of course now what we've got on, on our hands as a broadcaster and as people that know Trevor is a, a, a culture of people saying he's got to be fired, he's got to be cancelled, he's got to be gotten rid of. And that's for other people to make those decisions but we do also live in a society where people are allowed to have alternate views and if you start cancelling people be careful what you cancel I I know I haven't spoken to him and and I'm sure that he'll be in a state of great distress because he'll look at the the, the reality of what he's put out there and think I may hold those views but there's no parallel universe where that was the right time to say it there's no parallel universe whether you've got freedom of speech some things just don't need to be said and I'm I'm not trying to find a backdrop to give Trevor, everyone has to suffer the consequences of what they do and say. And Trevor will suffer consequences for this. But I'm telling you, as one man to another, and as as a person that's talking to lots of people, I know this fella, and you know this fella, Jim. I do. This man is not a racist. He's not steeped in racism. He has views. He has experiences. And some of them I don't agree with. But but for the the mob and the lynch mob now that will be after Trevor, 
I, I feel sad for that. But I guess in life we all reap the whirlwind and we have the consequences of the actions and the deeds and the words that we say. And Simon, I would echo every one of the words you have just used. And I would also emphasize this morning to everyone listening that Trevor's tweet is not endorsed by Talk Sport. We know that Talk Sport is investigating the matter and that the matter will be dealt with. It's Jim White and it's Simon Jordan. And we're live this Friday morning on Talk Sport.